Hey, how's it going, Mike? My name is Jack Kim here with Rocket Ship SEO. Um, I wanted to thank you for uh, your submission. It looks like you wanted a video analysis of your website, and it looks like you got some key keywords right here that you'd like to rank. So um, let me go ahead and get started and show you exactly what I can see here at the office while I have some free time. All right, so the first thing I did was I pulled up your website on AREPS, which is a tool that allows marketers like myself to take a look at the metrics of the website. Um, and here's kind of what I can see. So right off the bat, you're referring domains and backlinks. Um, you definitely want a lot more referring domains and backlinks than you're at right now, especially um, especially if you're looking for um, targeting uh, like HGH and that kind of thing. Um, the kinds of backlinks that you want are from websites that are, have to do with like medicine um, and uh, HGH. There's There would be some pretty decent blogs, I, I feel like in HGH uh, space, that I could pick up some links from there. and um, and anything that's like health and medicine related would be a good good backlink for you to pick up on. Uh, 35 referring domains on 773 backlinks, especially when you're looking to target um, national ranks like buy HGH online and things like that. Um, we definitely want a lot more, right? You want to show Google that you're an authoritative website. In order for you to show them that, um, you're going to need at least at least 300 referring domains on about 3,000 backlinks. That's that's where I'm thinking right now for you to actually uh, start being a big key player for these kinds of phrases and really. Um, rank at the number at the top of Google for the phrases that you want to rank in. Now I know you're already currently um, hold rankings because you've got this traffic right here and something's working for you but uh, in terms of the number of backlinks to show how authoritative your website is we definitely want to uh, bump that up. So yeah like I said organic traffic this is the amount of searches per month that you're getting. Um, this tends to be a little bit less than what it actually is based on experience but good ballpark. Let me um, Let me show you what you currently rank for. So right now this is your website as well as uh, what your what pages are ranked for what right now. So it looks like for the phrase Zarin Dip, you have the number one spot for that phrase. I bet you actually get a lot of decent amount of sales from this page right here, Zarin Dip, um, purely because you rank for the number one spot for that phrase. Looks like Max Support, you rank number, there's 500 searches per month for that. Um, you rank number 12. Um, so I know you have these keywords that you want to hold on to, but before I show you like where those keywords are, I wanted to show you a few of these other ones as well, um, and so that you can kind of see exactly what you're currently ranking for. So it looks like you have a lot of inner pages, um, specifically targeting a lot of these kinds of phrases like genotropin. Right, this one's got 70 searches per month for it. You're in rank number eight. So it looks like you are optimized, and you have the inner pages that are built out for those uh, phrases. What I would recommend doing is um, why why uh, change the wheel on this, right? We know that you're already ranking for these kinds of phrases. Why why not just optimize your page? And when we start sending those links back to the home page, we also want to focus on on the inner page and focus on on phrases like this, right? And and where you're already getting the search volume and where you're already getting credit for for it. So um, that's what I would recommend doing. So let me show you your phrases. So I just uh, went in and, and, and entered all the keywords that you wanted to currently rank in. And let me show you your keyword difficulty as the volume. So HGH dosage actually gets 700 searches per month. Um, looks like keyword difficulty of one. That's great news. Um, it goes from zero to 99. And the lower it is, the quicker and easier it is to rank for that phrase. So this is definitely possible and feasible. This one, HGH therapy, um, it's a good keyword. The, the, the concern is that 17 keyword difficulty, right? There's just easier, lower hanging fruit that we could target that are si that's similar to HGH therapy that might have similar volume but less keyword difficulty, right? Um, buy HGH online is another uh, very targeted one, and I know there's going to be more competition with, than what this algorithm is showing, but um, you know, I'd have to take a look at it a little bit further. Buy genotropin, pretty decent, 70 searches per month, 50 for this, for, uh, 30 for this, 10. These would have no problem. We have no problem ranking for these phrases. Same with this one. These two would be kind of a challenge. Definitely possible. Um, what I would do is, um, if you wanted to maybe consider working uh, with us uh, moving forward, um, I would go in here and take a look at what kind of phrases that you currently rank for and come up with a keyword list of 10. Um, and then, and then uh, we will work um, on building the website out and um, building out the inner page for that. So. What I mean by that specifically is here's kind of our technique for how we want to rank our clients and what's been working really well for us, for clients. Um, let's say that I want to rank for this phrase, Max Fort Zymax, right? <clears throat> what I would do is you have this page that's currently rank ranked for that, right? You're at rank number position 11. What I would do is right now, you see this description right here? 
um, just not a lot of information. I would make this about 1,000 to 1,500 words of content, so it exactly talks about what max support is, as well as dis discussing exactly what kinds of stuff that it benefits. Like I see, it's the generic version of Viagra. Um, what I would recommend, like I said, just have more description, point some more links on it, and uh, sprinkle in this specific key phrase, like max support to the Zymax, maybe throw some of this word in, max support Zymax 50 milligrams. That way, um, you show Google that you want to rank for those specific uh, keywords and um, it's it's not only are you going to get the authority from the backlinks that we're going to be providing for you but then you're also going to show Google exactly what you want to rank for because our page is going to be optimized for that phrase right so we'll fix the meta keywords we're going to fix the header tag to make sure that it, it, it's optimized uh, in terms of SEO even your images right even your images can actually be um, optimized for SEO purposes and I don't know if you know that um, because you're you're building out a um, a website like this, I don't know how well versed you are in the internet space, but um, um, definitely possible. Now, the one thing is, I don't know if you want to technically rank for uh, Mexico because it's a .mx domain. So I don't know if like right now these are okay. So you can see right here, there's 270 searches in the U.S. We can see for uh, Mexico, there's 32 searches. So um, less competition out there, but definitely less search volume. Um, I don't know if you service. Uh, people out in America, I don't even know if that's legal or anything like that, but um, Mexico, definitely, um, if that's what you're looking to do, um, we can definitely look at it from that angle as well. But um, I don't want to make it too much longer than this, Mike, but that's the kind of thing that we would do here, right? We would source those links for you so you start building authority to your website, and then we would start optimizing your pages specifically for the keywords that um, have search volume, so people are actually searching that phrase, as well as low keyword difficulty, so it's easy to rank, and then start pushing um, pushing content as well as some uh, backlinks specifically for that page. Um, targeting that keyword and that's definitely going to help you move up in the rankings, start um, getting more traffic to your website and then uh, convert those into uh, sales ultimately, right? which is the end goal. And uh, very confident about what we can do for you here. Like I said, um, my goal, um, especially at first, isn't to go after big, big keywords like buy HGH online um, um, and HGH therapy. Instead, I would start targeting um, the longer tail phrases like max support or where there's just less competition, right? This has a zero key keyword difficulty, meaning that's very possible to rank. Uh, and you can see that because you're not even doing any SEO to this inner page and you're already ranking at number 12, right? So um, that's the kind of thing I would do. I like to go after low hanging fruit. That way, um, while in, we're in the process of trying to rank for this big phrase like buy HGH online, you're still getting traffic to your website and still making sales and making money for by us going after these lower hanging fruit and ranking for these a lot quicker than what's possible with the main keyword. So uh, yeah, I'll wrap it up there, Mike. A lot of other things that we can do. Um, maybe an opt-in form for email so you can collect emails and blast out to them. That way um, you can start having steady uh, leads that way um, and sell to your own list rather than just having them come to your website and trying to drive traffic to your website. So um, lots, of, lots of potential options. It just kind of depends on what you're looking to do with the website, uh, where you want to take it, as well as your marketing budget and the time that you have to allocate to something like this. So um, would love to work further with you. Um, and just kind of uh, depends on, on, well not really depends, but for us to get started it's all just a matter of uh, staying in contact and moving forward. So I'll attach my phone number in that email mic, um, that way in case you want to talk we can do that via my, that's my cell phone number I'll, I'll put on there, as well as um, um, you can just message me back at the email that I sent you out, out, out on as well. Um, so appreciate it. and. Hope you got some insight out of this. Otherwise, have a great rest of your week and hopefully talk to you soon. Thank you. Yeah.